Ever wondered how the intriguing culture of Japan came to be? Well, let's embark on a journey back in time, to the ancient beginnings of this fascinating culture. Our story starts in the Jomon period, which stretched from 14,000 BC to 300 BC. This era was marked by the arrival of the first known inhabitants of Japan, the Ainu people. Their legacy is visible even today in the intricate and nature-inspired patterns of their pottery, a testament to their deep connection with the environment around them. As the centuries rolled on, the Jomon period gave way to the Yayoi period, which spanned from 300 BC to 300 AD. This was a transformative era for the people of Japan. The introduction of rice cultivation brought about profound changes in society. The process of growing rice was labor-intensive and required cooperation among community members. This collective effort led to the establishment of a class system, with the emergence of distinct roles for farmers, artisans and leaders. The Yayoi period also witnessed the development of metal tools and weapons, which further influenced the socio-political structure of society. These advancements, coupled with the cultivation of rice, signalled a shift from a hunter-gatherer lifestyle to a more settled, agrarian society. This transition laid the groundwork for the formation of the early states of Japan. As we delve deeper into the rich tapestry of Japanese culture, it's clear that the ancient beginnings were a crucible for innovation and societal development. The influences of the Ainu, the Jomon and the Yayoi periods are still palpable in the Japan we know today. From the delicate artistry of pottery to the communal spirit fostered by rice cultivation, these ancient beginnings have left an indelible mark on the cultural landscape of Japan. So the next time you marvel at the intricate designs of a piece of Japanese pottery or partake in the simple pleasure of a bowl of rice, remember these are not just elements of Japanese culture, they are echoes of its ancient beginnings. From pottery to rice cultivation, the ancient beginnings of Japanese culture laid the foundations for a society rich in tradition and innovation. How did the classical era shape the Japan we know today? Let's journey back to a time when Japan was just beginning to form its cultural identity. Starting in the year 538, the Asuka and Nara period stretched until 794, marking a significant era in Japanese history. During this time, Buddhism, originating from mainland Asia, was introduced to the islands of Japan. This new religion brought with it a profound influence, shaping the cultural, political and architectural landscapes of the nation. Buddhist teachings were not just confined to spiritual realms, but also found expression in the arts, literature and the very fabric of daily life. Imagine a Japan where the principles of Buddhism such as compassion, mindfulness and the pursuit of enlightenment began to permeate every aspect of society. It was a time when the nation's people started to look inward, reflecting on their existence and the world around them. This period of introspection and spiritual awakening played a significant role in crafting the unique cultural identity of Japan. As we move forward to the Heian period, spanning from 794 to 1185, Japan experienced a cultural bloom. It was a time when the country saw the birth of classical Japanese literature and art. The Heian period is often referred to as the peak of the Japanese imperial court, a time when art and literature were highly valued and pursued. This era gave birth to some of Japan's most famous literary works, including The Tale of Genji, often considered the world's first novel. The Heian period was also marked by the development of Yamato-e, a style of painting that focused on the depiction of scenes from daily life and stories, a reflection of the period's cultural richness. The classical era, with its profound Buddhist influence and cultural bloom, shaped the Japan we recognize today. It was a time when the seeds of what we now know as Japanese culture were sown, laying the foundation for the rich tapestry of traditions, arts and literature that continues to captivate us today. And so, as we delve deeper into the history of this fascinating country, we begin to understand how the classical era has left an indelible mark on the Japan we know and admire today. What can the samurai tell us about medieval Japan? The answer takes us on a journey to the Kamakura and Muromachi periods, a time when the samurai class rose to prominence and feudalism took root in the land of the rising sun. The Kamakura period, stretching from 1185 to 1333, marked the ascendancy of the samurai class. 
These warriors, initially serving as military nobility for the emperor and noble court, gradually amassed power, both militarily and politically. As their influence grew, so did the development of feudalism, a system of governance where land or fiefs were granted in return for military service. This period in Japanese history is characterized by the decentralization of power, with the samurai at the helm. This trend continued into the Muromachi period, from 1336 to 1573. During this era, the shogunate, or military government, held the reins of power, further solidifying the position of the samurai. But the samurai were not just warriors, they were also patrons of culture. And it is in this period that we see the blossoming of samurai culture, Central to samurai culture was Bushido, or the way of the warrior. This code, deeply rooted in Confucianism, Buddhism and Shintoism, dictated the samurai's conduct, emphasizing virtues such as loyalty, self-discipline and honorable behavior. Even in the face of death, a samurai was expected to uphold these principles, showing unwavering courage and determination. But the samurai were also lovers of the arts, and this is evident in the tea ceremony, a practice that became popular during the Muromachi period. More than just an act of drinking tea, this ceremony was a spiritual experience, a manifestation of Zen Buddhism principles, and a space where the samurai could cultivate patience, simplicity and tranquility. The samurai, with their strict code of honour and love for the arts, left an indelible mark on Japanese culture. Their influence can be felt even today in the values, traditions and aesthetics that continue to shape Japan. It is through understanding the samurai that we can gain a deeper insight into the soul of medieval Japan. How did Japan transform from a feudal society to a modern, industrialized nation? Well, the journey was far from simple. This transformation began with the Meiji Restoration, a period between 1868 and 1912, when Japan first opened its doors to the Western world. During these years, Japan experienced a rapid industrialization and westernization of its society. The feudal system was abolished, replaced with a centralized government headed by the emperor. The society adopted a new constitution, modeled after those of Western nations, paving the way for a parliamentary government. In addition to political changes, the Meiji period also saw significant advancements in infrastructure and industry. Railways, telegraphs and factories sprouted across the country and Western-style education was introduced, fostering a generation of globally-minded individuals. Following the Meiji period, the Taisho era from 1912 to 1926 brought about a blossoming of democracy. The power of the emperor was curtailed and the influence of elected officials grew. The society also saw a cultural shift with literature, arts and even fashion reflecting a blend of Japanese traditions and Western influences. Next came the Showa period, from 1926 to 1989, which was marked by Japan's emergence as a global power. Despite the devastation of World War II, Japan rose from the ashes, rebuilding its economy and becoming a world leader in technology and manufacturing. The country's resilience and innovative spirit during these years are a testament to its people's tenacity and drive. This period of rapid modernization was not without its challenges. The society grappled with preserving its rich cultural heritage amidst the influx of Western influences. But through it all, Japan managed to strike a balance, creating a unique blend of tradition and innovation that continues to captivate the world. The rapid modernization of Japan in the late 19th and 20th centuries has made it the technological powerhouse we know today. It's a fascinating journey, showing us that even in the face of change, a nation can retain its unique identity and still make a significant mark on the global stage. What makes contemporary Japanese culture so unique and globally influential? Dive into the vibrant colors and pulsating beats of Japan's modern pop culture, and you'll find a world that captivates millions across the globe. Anime, with its breathtaking art and intricate storylines, has become a cornerstone of global entertainment. Manga, Japanese comic books or graphic novels, has sparked an international reading revolution, with millions eagerly turning pages of both physical books and digital screens. J-pop, Japan's energetic pop music scene, has not only dominated Asian music charts, but has also made significant strides on the global stage, with bands like Perfume and Arashi garnering international fan bases. 
And of course, we can't forget the international love for Japanese cuisine. From the delicate art of sushi making to the comforting bowls of ramen, Japanese culinary delights have found their way into kitchens and restaurants all over the world. But while the world revels in the modern aspects of Japanese culture, the traditional practices continue to be deeply woven into the fabric of daily life in Japan. Tea ceremonies, known as sado or chado, are still practiced with great reverence. This ritualistic preparation and presentation of matcha, a powdered green tea, is a meditative process that represents harmony, respect, purity and tranquility. Martial arts, born from the ancient ways of the samurai and ninja, also hold a significant place in Japanese society. Judo, karate and kendo are not just about physical strength but also about discipline, balance and the unity of mind and body. Let's not forget the festivals, or matsuri, which are celebrated with great enthusiasm. These vibrant events are a perfect blend of solemn rituals, lively parades and festive food, encapsulating the joyous spirit of the Japanese community. From ancient traditions to modern pop culture, Japan's rich cultural tapestry continues to fascinate the world. The fusion of the old and the new, the traditional and the contemporary, is what makes Japan a cultural powerhouse, a place where the past coexists with the present in the most harmonious and fascinating ways.